about what it is that holds people back when they get to this point of halftime and are ready to be uh, ready to be thrust into mi uh, ministry to get from as Henry Nouwen told me from success to significance to surrender which is really what God asked for and a lot of it has to do with simply not understanding that you're, you're called to do something you as an individual are called to do something everybody is uh, in Ephesians 2 8 through 10 St. Paul expresses the, the uh, sense of, of being saved but he goes on to say in Ephesians 2 10 that we're saved for a purpose what Rick Warren wrote about when he when he talked about a purpose-driven life, and specifically St. Paul said that we are um, saved for good works prepared beforehand. That means prepared before you were born for you to do specifically. And later on in Ephesians, he says after three chapters of uh, very heavy-duty theology. He says, now, therefore, uh, it's a turning point utterly in what he says, walk worthy of your calling. Most people don't understand your calling. It's, it's fairly easy to discover, but I, I don't think it's, it's talked about a lot. And I think everybody has one. And everybody who has one needs an encourager or what I'd call a catapult. And one thing we're encouraging people to do these days is to be a catapult for somebody else, to say, you can do that.